Okay. Welcome. Here we go. <laughs> you know you don't have to say this every time. Yes, I do. Or else they will not know they are welcome. <laughs> well, most of the time, most of the time, I just cut it out to when you start talking. <laughs> <laughs> They're like this guy never even says well. <laughs> have you listened to any of these? Um, I've listened to parts of each one. I never yeah. make it all the way through. Is it just it's too much fun for you? Is that why? I just don't like hearing myself talk. Oh, you just listen. You want me to send you the recording of just me? Yeah, if you could do that. Yeah. And then I could also talk with it. Oh, there you go. And relive it like that. That might be better. Taylor and Alan talking about movies. They may be best friends, but they always disagree. Taylor and Alan. I seen that. This movie is Rain Wilson's big screen debut. Super? Incorrect. So Next. Is... That that is correct. I mean that's a movie he's in, but okay. it's not his debut. Juno. I can think of a few movies before that one. Juno? He's in Juno, but no, not that one. Okay, next one. This is also Justin Long's film debut. It's not Die Hard, right? No. Acceptance? No. Here is the next one. Uh Although Alan Rickman hated sci-fi as a genre, he couldn't resist taking the part in the film as he found it the material to be so funny. Galaxy Quest. There it is. Did you have which we had already? (laughs) Yeah, I already had it lined up when you had made mention of it before. That's funny. I was like, "Dang it!" Um. Yeah. No, he was in this. Or uh, who? uh, Rain Wilson. He is one of the aliens. Oh, is he? Okay, that makes more sense. Which, he also might be an alien in real life. I am not going to have a lot to say about this one, because I saw it once when I was a kid and didn't like it. What? Yeah, sorry. Oh, I think you should try again. This is a cult classic. That's that's what I hear. I just... What I remember, it wasn't great. It's got Tim Allen in it, right? It's got Tim Allen, Sigourney Weaver, Alan Rickman, uh, now, Sam Rockwell, was this, Tony Shalhoub. Do you remember when they made the Brady Bunch movies? Uh, yes. And they were like, the feel and the tone was similar to the Brady Bunch movies, but it was kind of a parody of the Brady Bunch movies. The Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, from the show. The movies were similar, but it was making fun of the show in the movies. The Brady Bunch? Yeah. Uh, I don't have a, a vivid recollection of the Brady Bunch movies. Cause oh, no. I I just remember them being cheesy. Yeah, there was like, they alluded that Barbie, <laughs> Barbie, Martha and Bobby, Bobby? Who's old? Greg. No, Greg's a dad. Yeah. Who's no. I don't even remember. I don't remember. The oldest son and the oldest daughter were sleeping together at one point in the movie. As brother and sister? Yeah, stepbrother and sister. Oh, really? Is that what it is? Step? What are you? Yeah, they'd be. You're not related. Yeah, step. Yeah. Uh, That's weird. So it was like similar to the show, but it was like a parody of the show. Yeah, this is essentially a parody of Star Trek. Well, Galaxy Quest was a show. Not a real show, though. Are you sure? Yeah. Hmm. Was it a show in the the movie? In the movie, it is a show, but it was essentially, it's a parallel to Star Trek. See, you really need to watch this movie, because it's really funny. Did you, you thought Galaxy Quest was an actual show? That it was, the movie was based on? I thought so. I thought it was a remake no. of an actual show. Ah, you are not correct. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is a movie based on a the TV actors show. Yeah, who used to be in a TV show called Galaxy Quest, which is essentially the same thing as Star Trek. Tim Allen is the, not William Shakespeare, William Shatner character. Yeah. That each person, you know, has their own parallels. 
but it's 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 like a parody of it and it's uh, it's hard to explain oh well, you're going to have to do the, better the, the tone of it it's just really great so basically the show's over but it's got this huge fan base these aliens from another planet have been watching this galaxy quest receiving these transmissions for years and they are under the impression that it is real life and they are watching historical documents and they, they build a ship based off the ship and it, the, everything that they do is based off what they saw in the TV show. Hmm. So now, uh, Saris is the bad guy is the villain. He's threatening to take out their home planet essentially. So they enlist the help of Tim Allen and his friends to help defeat him, thinking that these are the real people who fought in these wars and did this and that. But it turns out, obviously, they're just actors. Um, but they end up transforming into these roles that they played throughout the movie and saving the day in the end. Gotcha. Yeah, it, it is, sounds boring it, still. It's not boring. It's really funny. I, I think you should give it another try. I I won't. I, I don't say that to many movies because I just know you will never like any movie that I like for the most part. Yeah. But I think on this one you are truly wrong. That's okay. I'm okay with being wrong about it. I would rather be wrong about it than be right about it and watch it again. See, that's where you're wrong. <laughs> I don't think so. That logic seems pretty sound. What's What's really funny is it's in a, in a way it makes fun of the fans of Star Trek – but not like in a demeaning way. Basically, there's these huge fans, one of them being Justin Long, who are so obsessed with the show that they almost feel like it's real. And there's a point where they're they're like bugging Tim Allen about it because you know he's the star of the show, and he's like, "Dude, seriously, like it's not real. Like leave me alone, get a life." They're nerds essentially. Yeah. In the end, he ends up enlisting their help to get through different parts of the ship because they love the show so much that they knew all the ins and outs of everything and were able to help him. It is great. (laughs) What I want to know every time, uh, aliens come on in a movie and stuff like that, they're always way more technologically advanced. How come there's not really a lot of movies where we are the most sophisticated beings? In I the wonder universe? that too. Like, why did they get to be better than us? Yeah. Why aren't we the ones traveling out and then finding inferior races out there? Yeah. I remember there was one cartoon. I don't think I ever actually watched it, but that was kind of the premise was the alien or the, um, the astronaut lands on an alien planet but the aliens are like stuck in the seventies, like the 1970s. Really? Yeah. But I never saw it, but that was, it's always like, why do aliens have to be, you know, super smart, intelligent, amazing creatures. And yeah. We're the screw ups. We could yeah, easily so I would be, like to see, yeah, we could Go easily on. be the most ad- advanced society ever. If there are aliens, which I, I, I don't think there are aliens, but, not in the not in the sense of like movies. So I would like to see a movie or even a TV show based on one of the two outcomes. There is either one where we are traveling the universe and we do come across some other alien races that aren't as advanced as ours, or an alien race comes. You know, they finally make their way to us. And we're still way more advanced than they are, and they are not prepared for what we have here. <laughs> they're like, they're like, we were not ready for what we were founding. They <laughs> thought that they were the, you know, the better race, and then come to find out they are not advanced whatsoever. It's like uh, Buzz Aldrin lands on the planet in that crappy old spaceship. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what was that? Apollo Eleven? Which one landed on the moon? Uh, ye eleven. Mm, I want to say it's 11. I don't know. Yeah, should maybe. I, should I know this? Like, is that, how important is that to know? For you, it's not that important. You don't live in America. <laughs> That's true. Um, Although, th- maybe no I one actually I do want to say it was Apollo 11. 
What? Sorry, say that again. Maybe no one landed on the moon, and it's all a conspiracy. This is true. Yeah, I believe it to be true. Apollo Eleven. Did you ever see yeah, that, that YouTube clip of Buzz Aldrin punching that uh, conspiracy theorist right in the face? Yes, and I love it. <laughs> it's so funny. That because that dude like harasses him. Yeah. I'm like, try to tell me that the one of the greatest accomplishments, not only of my life, but in American history, never happened. Okay. Uh, oh, you're talking for Buzz Aldrin. I thought you were talking <laughs> I was like, Yeah, no, I'm yeah. talking for me. Well, you know what happened in like sixty nine, right? Yeah. Oh, you were alive in 69? How old do you think I am? Uh, I thought you were younger than me. Yeah, roughly. Yeah. Maybe you don't know how old you are. <laughs> that There is a valid. You know, there has been a lot of fudgy numbers in your family. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> what Was it that they told you you were older than you were or that they got married a year before they did? Yeah, that one. That they, uh, I, I would... As far as I know, I was born on the day that I thought. Okay. In the same year. Have you confirmed that? Have you checked the the records? There's no way to really confirm. That's true. Records can be forged. <laughs> um Yeah, basically so Galaxy Quest. I would say give it a chance cuz it is a hilarious movie. I I I'm not going to. I'm going to just be honest. I know, with you. and it, you owe it to Alan Rickman. I don't to watch his his movie. I don't know. I don't owe anything to Alan Rickman. He he drew a lot of parallels in this movie from his own life, because in the movie, or sorry, in the in the movie of the show, he played an alien who was part of the ship crew. Uh huh. And after that, he was never able to get roles because he was typecast as this alien sidekick okay and he always like uh resented tim allen for being the star and going on and doing better things this and that and he says that he drew that from real life because after he played hansa gruber and in and die hard people only wanted to cast him as a villain and it took him a long time to try to shake it i thought you and were that's giving, it. i thought you were giving me reasons why i owed alan rickman me watching this movie because he's Alan Rickman. He's, he's cool. I, I just... I feel like you want me to watch it because Alan Rickman's dead. Uh, that is inappropriate. <laughs> In- incorrect. I want to watch it because it's a funny movie. But at this point, you so badly don't want to like it that even if you did watch it, you would not like it. I, don't, I wouldn't say I want to not like it. You are uh, close-minded to this movie. <laughs> I, I've seen it before, and I didn't enjoy it when I saw it. And I saw it as a kid. I did, too. You know who I saw this movie with? Who's that? I saw it with Quinn and his family in theaters. Nice. It was uh, weird. <laughs> I don't know why we went to the movies. That was the only time. But uh, it happened. Yeah. Um, other than that, I, I, this is one of my favorite movies. Yeah, no. And that, that's no. about all I got. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably changing the channel when this comes on. Changing the channel? No, I'll probably watch it all the way through. It's it's that good for me. Um, I'm just ashamed that of, you can't say this. Of me? Of you. Or of your life. Of you all the way through. Yeah, I don't blame you. But yeah, that's, uh, that's all I got. Yeah, I'm... I would rather watch Die Hard. If you want me to pay tribute to Alan Rickman, I'll watch Die Hard. Or, um, that is also a good tribute movie. Or Harry Potter. You could just watch But you would have to watch all eight Harry Potters. I have to watch all eight? Why do I have to watch all eight? If you're gonna if that's the tribute route you want to go, you gotta watch them all. I don't know. I thought this was gonna be like the Hunger Games that I paid tribute. Uh no. It doesn't work like that. I was gonna go and kill a bunch of junior high kids in honor of Alan Rickman. Oh, wouldn't that forest. be fun? <laughs> oh. But yeah, that's it. Yeah, sounds good. 
The so, end, everyone. Watch. Uh, Sorry, watch. What are you say? Watch Memento, and we'll talk about it next. I will week. watch Memento. <laughs> I've already seen Memento. It was not that good. I think you're trying to say momentum. No, you're saying like uno momento, like how you would say moment in Spanish. No, I'm saying momento, like oh, this is momento. Something, <laughs> something that I'm gonna it's remember. From. Momento. I'm pretty sure it's momento. Almost like if it had an A, like M A, momento. Momento. Mami. Not momento. 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 Not momento. 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 Why are we doing this for the third time? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>